very long time, but uh, I'd say the first real time that we actually were like, oh, I'm Mike and you're Jane, was when Mike um, sent me a friend request on Facebook, and I was like, who is this guy? Why, the first time we met was, um, we kind of met her in a bar, starting off, first night. Then, um, then I went home, then she added me on Facebook. Yeah, so, um, so she was chasing you from the start, though, which I'd say, so all the guys would chase me from the start. <laughs> So I went in, looked at his pictures, had a quick little sneak through, and then I was like, I suppose I'll accept it. <laughs> but so she added me on Facebook anyway, um, long story short. The next day we were just private mailing each other. So um, I asked Jen, did she want to go for the old DVD? To watch the old DVD. And then that was it. So we met up about three or four days later um, for our first kind of date. She said we'd have a movie and uh, coffee and biscuits and whatnot. And then I think that was March 2011 or 12, 11. First person was Jen was, um, she's not going to open the door. She's a very good looking girl. Very, very outgoing, polite, you know. Thought, oh, he he looks he looks like his photos, but he's much bigger. Obviously, photos don't show how big somebody is. So yeah, he's huge, really tall, really big, and uh, muscly. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I like that. Was I nervous? Like, if I said I was nervous, I'd be lying. I wasn't nervous. Okay. Um, she, she came in. She, I knocked the door, she opened the door, she came in, and uh, I was actually. I was, I was upstairs cleaning the bedroom for ages. <laughs> well, in fairness, like, the reason I didn't think it was the bedroom was because I was living with, I was living with Lola, I was living with five dads, yeah. parents were mad bastards, so parents was living with them, so we lived with the dad's house. We were all brought up, brought up for the drinking and the crack, so, so if, we, if we were downstairs, we'd have been a little piece, so obviously, obviously, to upstairs. Right? Boys would say, boys would say, friends would say years ago was um, windows open, we said there was the windows open in the bedroom. It's the most thing we had from years ago. Right. Like the boys sitting there, sitting in the cinema with all the right. I won't say it. I knew Jim was the person I wanted to marry, I'd say, in the, in the first week it was coming up. Um, I think it was kind of early on because I kind of knew, okay, I want a guy who treats me nice, is respectful and is funny and kind of like full of life. And that was Mike. Mike was, from the get-go, was like, come on, we're going out. And I was like, I don't have my hair done. I'm not ready to go out. And everything was so exciting from the get-go. So I kind of knew early on, I was like, yeah, this is going to work. Which it did. <laughs> I actually knew, do you know, like, do you know, like when you're going out with somebody, you know, you know what you don't want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I knew, I knew, um, I, I knew what I didn't want, and she ticked all the boxes I didn't that that, um, that I wanted. And we got on, you know, um, it was just easy. It was obviously to start, you know, my parents don't argue any of it. We didn't argue for maybe the first year, I'd say. But like your mum, I remember one morning there I came in, I was always pissed, lads. So I came in, we just bought, we just bought new couches. So I came in like a sick and over the couch. And then um, the next morning, I woke up the next morning and yeah, and I just, there was a note left. There was a note left on the bed next to me. And I was, and I said, no, I said, you ruined our relationship. And I looked at the note and I was like, what the fuck's wrong with Jen? Go down the stairs, sick all over the couch, all over the floor left. And I was like, oh my God, I was so much trouble. And that day then I was like, I was like, oh God, did I just fuck up the relationship with So we, we got over that then, it was plain sailing from then. <laughs> I probably should have said that in the video, should I? I can edit it out again. Okay, so um, I had kind of given him hints and clues for like maybe a couple of months beforehand, like, you know, you're, you're moving on now, everybody else around you is getting married and having babies and whatnot, and he's like, yeah, 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 you don't even know, I'm still only 20, 28, that's my age, he's 28 for everybody. So I was like, yeah, okay, but you're actually not 20, so we need to start making a plan. Whose idea was it? Was she talking hints that she wanted to say? Or... No, um, 
She wasn't dropping hints. We, we, we knew we were going to get married. It wasn't that like she dropped hints or anything. We both knew we spoke about it. We had planned to go to take that. I bought him tickets for his birthday in November. So take that was on then. Um, I can actually have remember date. How bad is that? <laughs> so I um, couldn't remember, I remember date. She's going to kill me. So as far as I knew, that's all we were doing. Going to Dublin to watch to take that. And he was being really funny that day. He was, I wanted to put my white skinny jeans into his bag. And he was like, don't touch my bag. And I had to give me a small box and a ring. And I was like, shit, I guess I'd lose the ring, you know? Yeah. So the ring was up, up, the ring was in my care bag for about three weeks before we got engaged upstairs on, on Florida. I just didn't know. I just wanted to pack it in my care bag for three weeks. And I was like, okay, fine, I won't touch your bag. So I was like, here, just put my white skinny jeans into your bag. So that was fine. Got up to Dublin and got to the hotel and he was being really romantic. He bought a bottle of champagne and I was like, wow, he's going all out for take that. We were only at take that because my clothes take that, not me. So when I bought the bottle of champagne, I was like, oh, he's trying to sweeten me over now because I don't really like that. So got to the venue, I got to the Aviva Stadium and he kept kind of going to the bar and going to the toilet and I was kind of on my own enjoying the music before they had come on. And um, I remember, I remember I had, I had the ring, Ty gave me a small tiny box for the ring. So I had the ring in my pocket, you know, and I kept checking my pocket. Oh, I had a tiny for the ring because I'm doing it like that. Paranoid. Yeah, paranoid. So I was, I was, do you know what, I was nervous. And um, I must have had about, I'm not joking, you know, I'd say I had about 10 bottles of Desperado. Sorry, Fred. <laughs> we got we were at the concert early, so we went and the hens was going before take that. So we were at, we were at the front at the side of the stage, and um, we at the side of the stage for ages, right? There's people, hundreds of people behind us. So then I went to the bar, take that about to start. The people had to jump in the queue, coming up to the front. So I would, I still I started to get annoyed, so I ended up having, I ended up getting annoyed. Who were in front of me then skipped the queues in two hours. So I had a fight with them, argued with them like they shouldn't have skipped the queues, these people in front of me. So uh, these two girls came in front of us just as Take That came to the stage and he was like, Move out of the way, move out of the way. And he was getting really agitated. And I was like, They're fine, they're fine, they're bigger fans than I am, so leave them there. So then he was like, No, they're, they're, in, they're in our way, they're in our way. So I was like, Just leave them there, it's grand. And then in the back of my head, I was like, Engaged in a few minutes. So Take That started, and like, the second song it did was um, the greatest, uh, the greatest day. I was like, shit, that's the song I'm gonna get engaged to. It was the second song it did. I was like, I'm not ready. So there we go. I was like, I was like, fuck. I tell you, I tell you, be like the joint the end of it. So I gave him some time. So anyway. So then the song came on that obviously he wanted, which was today. This could be the greatest day, and he just disappeared. I was like, where is he? <laughs> where are you? Got down one knee. And everyone was, everyone was crowded around us. And um, but, of course she was born and crying. She didn't expect it. And he was down on the ground with the ring out and everybody around him was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, oh gee, what's going on here? And I just started bawling crying because I didn't know what to say or do. And so then I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. And then everybody around us was just screaming and clapping. And I was like, okay, yeah, it's no official. <laughs> so the rest of the concert I think I just spent on my phone because I was like, yeah, this just happened down over here, but this just happened. <laughs> so it was brilliant. We just went down that night and celebrated and it was great crack. And just how much does he love take that? Um, so in the scheme of boy bands, it's probably Westlife number one, and then maybe take that number two, and then maybe um, what's the Backstreet Boys number three? All boy bands. Oh no, I'm really bad actually. One Direction has to be probably number one. Westlife number two. <laughs> All boy bands. <laughs> what would you say like his best and worst qualities are? Okay, his best qualities are that he is. So outgoing and friendly, and he's just he's so fun to be around. Even when I'm down, I'm like he comes. If I'm in the door for work, and I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. He's like, how are ya? <laughs> Welcome home. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. He's just great crack to be around. Right. I tell you now, we have a bin upstairs in the bathroom, and I had the first website in the bin that overflows. <laughs> Drowsing fucking bananas. <laughs> right, and it's the guy that does Drowsing mad. And like, I go grab into the bin. So I want a tiny bin. So get a bigger bin for the back for the answer. So get a bigger bin. The sort of flowing with best wipes. I forget to it. <laughs> His worst uh, qualities, just one or? <laughs> Go for um, it. <laughs> No, he doesn't really have like worse qualities. I'd say the thing that we argue over the most is his driving. Mike, I don't know how Mike ever passed his driving test or who gave him a full license, but <laughs> his driving drives me insane. I'm like sitting in the van going, okay, okay, yeah, it's okay, fine, 
like, and then the car comes out of nowhere and Mike's like, whoops, I didn't see them. Yeah, driving. I can't, he knows that I will say driving. Choice, <laughs> man. Oh, the other thing is like planning, right? Like Jane's like, Jane loves like her family's that works, they have, they're, they're all, everything is like, everything's regimented, it's all plan, 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 plan. Everything's to the plan. So like, I think there's some, some days and um, I'm like, oh, I'm going to Cork with Howard. And like, because like, recently I met Howard rings me and um, he goes, do you want to go to Cork for drinks? I've been packed for free. I goes, yeah, I'm going, this is like half, a quarter to six, Howard arrives at seven o'clock. I rings Jane and I said, I'm going to Cork with Howard. She goes, to what? So you didn't tell me, I was like, yeah, it wasn't planned. This thing was just going like, I'm not married yet, so I'm going to Cork drinking. And, but she, on various days, she always, she always let me do like, when we pretty much whatever I wanted, like, so that's, that's what we work. She's planning the wedding for the last five years, I'd say. Since we've been married, she's planning the wedding. Have you been able to have any part in planning? Um, do you know what I did know? I went cake tasting. Loved it. You and Mike. Together. There's probably money like going on holidays with each other and uh, moving into this house here. But the, my favourite memory of all was driving to Cork to collect Bruce. So the two of us just driving back with this tiny little white puppy that we knew no, nothing about or what to do with it. And Mike was like, We're coming off a family now. I was like, Yeah, we are. His name is now Bruce Daly. So from then, you were the Dailies as soon as we got Bruce. Which I love. To me, Mike is. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'd say no. What would I say to Jane? He's my best friend, but he's my rock, and I love him so much. Um, we can come back to it if you want to have a think about yeah, it. Yeah, I think about well, yeah. Very nice. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and what, like, what are your, what are your hopes then for the future? What's, what's next after? Most of the lights. Um. So all I can hope for for me, and Mike, is that we have the most fun relationship ever and that whatever comes our way we do it together. I'd like to say to Jane that I am she, she might be the most happiest man that um the hope the hope the hope we're together when we're very old. Okay. So that's your that's your hope for yeah, the future so that you'll be there end. till the very end. So the very end the very much, as I said to to them to them that that was part, isn't it? I have to say. Who's funnier, Mike or the best man? Oh, Mike or the best man. So our best man or Mike's best man is Frankie Roach. Uh, Mike's best friend. I, I'm second best to Frankie, so Frankie's number one and then me. Uh, who's funnier? I have to probably say Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie is a jokester and a trickster and whatever he said at the table yesterday today at the meal, it's not true. <laughs> oh, who's, who's more organised? Yeah. Jane or Tara? Um, okay, actually, kids in Dubai, your parents are. Um, I'd say they both organise equally. Jane probably more, because she's just, as I said, they're so regimented. It was the whole, I saw the parks. I'm sure now her, um, her sister's cousins are, are watching this, going, yeah, they're all demented, they're, 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 so, they're, so, they're so regimented. Just want to say one thing when we go back to the bars. Yeah. I said to Alan sitting, I'm sitting there in the audience, Alan's next to get married. He's, he's waiting for to get engaged to Deirdre. <laughs>